There are so many wonderful features in EO4, ranging from peaceful trading to huge coalition wars against France. However, what is the best feature of EO4? While this topic is very opinionated, I will try to support my position with as many arguments I can. For me, the best feature of EU4 are ideas. For me, Europa 4 is not about declaring a war, getting a few provinces, and then waiting 15 years for the truth timer to finish, and then doing the same thing over and over again. But customizing your nation to your ideals. It is about making your nation to what you want it to be. And frankly, I believe the developers are doing a very good job of this by making no idea really useless and encouraging taking certain ideas to get certain policies which adds even more customization to your nation. Do you feel like scrambling for India as Austria? Take exploration and go for it! No one visible barriers saying Austria can't take exploration because it wasn't historical. They really give power to the player by allowing him to change history, not just observe it. Picking an idea never feels totally useless, even if that isn't the optimal choice. There are a few exceptions like Hesse picking exploration or expansion ideas, though even that wouldn't be totally useless as he might be preparing for the second colonization wave in Africa. My main complaint about idea groups would be that they give you a lot of invisible power, not visible power. With invisible power I mean that it doesn't have a lot of visual indication or impact effectively masking its strength. This is very detrimental for newer players and just complicates things by making decision making more exhausting and stressful. Instead of, instead of a nice overview and visual indications showing you what they do, you have to research and go through a lot of interfaces that don't add anything to the game but overcomplicate it, like the quality ideas. Personally, my favorite idea is exploration. Colonization is pretty fun on its own but it gets really exciting when you colonies meet the colonies of another nation. This can lead to those two countries rushing through the content to grab whatever they can before the other one grabs it, or to a devastating war that would push the one or the other out of the continent ending his colonial ambitions. This gets really fun in multiplayer games where you can negotiate with other players and aggression isn't overly rewarded as much as in single player. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed it leaving a like and hitting that subscribe annotation would really make my day. See you in the next video.